Have you ever wondered what would happen if a major city was attacked by a nuclear bomb? A question we seldom dare to ask, yet one that bears significant weight. The unthinkable scenario, a devastating event with catastrophic effects that would reshape the world as we know it. The explosion of a nuclear device in a densely populated city would be an unparalleled disaster. But what actually happens when a nuclear bomb detonates? Let's delve into the science behind a nuclear explosion. To understand the impact, first we need to comprehend the science of a nuclear explosion. A nuclear explosion is an incredibly powerful release of energy, and it all starts with a process known as fission or fusion. In fission, an atom of uranium or plutonium is split into two smaller atoms, releasing a large amount of energy. This process is triggered by a neutron, a subatomic particle, colliding with the atom's nucleus. The collision causes the atom to split, releasing more neutrons which then collide with other atoms, creating a chain reaction. This chain reaction is what fuels the explosion. Fusion, on the other hand, is the process where two atoms combine to form a larger atom. This typically involves hydrogen isotopes and occurs under extremely high temperatures and pressures, akin to the conditions found in the sun. This is the process behind the hydrogen bomb, a type of thermonuclear weapon, which is even more powerful than a fission bomb. The energy released in a nuclear explosion is immense, and it comes in several forms. There's the initial blast, a wave of intense heat and pressure that can level buildings and incinerate everything within a certain radius. Then there's the radiation, which can cause immediate harm to living organisms and linger in the environment for years, even decades. Finally, there's the fallout, the radioactive material that's blasted into the atmosphere and then falls back to the ground, posing a long-term threat to life and the environment. The destructive power of a nuclear bomb is hard to comprehend. A single bomb can obliterate a city, causing instant death and destruction, and leaving a lasting legacy of radiation and disease. It's a power that humankind has, thankfully, only unleashed twice in warfare. But the potential for devastation is always there, lurking in the shadows. Now that we understand what happens during a nuclear explosion, let's explore the potential impact on a city. Imagine for a moment the heart of a thriving city. Now picture a nuclear explosion in its center. In the blink of an eye, everything changes. The first thing to hit is the blast wave, an intense overpressure wave moving faster than the speed of sound. Buildings crumple like paper, glass shatters into deadly shards, and people are thrown about like rag dolls. The destruction is immediate and vast, with the damage radius extending for miles, but the blast is only the beginning. Next comes the intense heat, reaching temperatures hotter than the surface of the sun. This heat flash can cause third-degree burns miles from the epicenter and ignite fires across the city. The resulting firestorm can create its own weather producing hurricane-force winds that feed the flames, leading to what scientists call a firestorm. And then there's the radiation. Invisible but deadly, radiation can cause immediate sickness or death in those near the blast. It contaminates the air, the ground, and even the rain that might follow a nuclear explosion, making the city uninhabitable for years, perhaps decades. The immediate impacts are horrific, but the long-term effects are no less devastating. Those who survive the initial blast and fires may suffer from radiation sickness, a debilitating illness that can cause nausea, weakness, hair loss, and even death. The environmental damage is profound. Buildings, roads, and infrastructure are destroyed, and the landscape is scarred, potentially for centuries. The societal impacts are also severe. With the city's infrastructure decimated, basic services like healthcare, sanitation, and food distribution collapse, People are displaced, families torn apart. The economy crumbles. The psychological trauma extends far beyond the city's borders, creating a ripple effect of fear and uncertainty. Even the natural world isn't spared. The explosion can cause significant damage to local ecosystems. The intense heat can cause forest fires, while the radiation can contaminate water sources and soil, disrupting the food chain and causing long-term damage to local wildlife. As we delve into this grim scenario, it's important to remember that this is not inevitable. It's a choice. A choice made by governments and individuals. A choice that we, as a global community, must confront. 
As you can see, the effects of a nuclear explosion are truly devastating. But what happens after the immediate aftermath? What would life be like in a city devastated by a nuclear bomb? In the long term, the effects of a nuclear explosion are nothing short of catastrophic. The landscape of the city becomes a desolate wasteland, with structures reduced to rubble and the air thick with the stench of destruction. The survivors, if any, would have to grapple with radiation sickness, a debilitating condition caused by exposure to high levels of radiation. Symptoms can range from nausea and vomiting to more severe complications like cancer and death. And the radiation doesn't stop there. It seeps into the genetic material of living organisms, leading to mutations that can persist for generations. Not to mention the societal collapse that would inevitably follow. Infrastructure would crumble, the economy would crash, and social order would disintegrate. In essence, a city devastated by a nuclear bomb would be a city no more, but a haunting reminder of the destructive power mankind wields. This is why nuclear disarmament and non-proliferation are of utmost importance. We must strive to prevent such a scenario from ever becoming a reality. The cost of nuclear warfare is too high, not just in terms of lives lost, but the long-lasting damage it inflicts on our world. It's a grim picture, but one that we must consider to understand the true cost of nuclear warfare. This conversation has been sobering, to say the least. We've explored the unthinkable scenario of a nuclear attack, delved into the science of such an explosion, and pondered on its impact on a city and its aftermath. It's been an enlightening journey, hasn't it? If you enjoyed this discussion, please like, comment and share. Don't forget to subscribe to the Science and Technology channel for more captivating insights. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the unthinkable. Remember, knowledge is power. Stay curious, stay informed, and most importantly, stay safe.